I'm Paul Van Binder, the Chairman of the Immunisation Coalition and a public health physician on the Gold Coast. I've just finished following up the contacts of a child with brain abscesses who was suffering from meningococcal disease. And last week, the news reports came out of regional Victoria about a university student who passed away from meningococcal disease. Meningococcal disease is an uncommon but incredibly serious disease. Around about one in 10 children can pass away from meningococcal disease. It's a very rapidly progressing disease. Children can be well in the morning and incredibly sick late in the afternoon. Many parents will have seen photos of children without limbs who are suffering meningococcal disease consequences and there are other consequences. Children become deaf after meningococcal disease and have neurological deficits. And what's even more worrying is that a new strain of meningococcal disease has just arrived in Australia over the last year or two. We saw this in countries like Brazil and England where the death rate actually increased to around one in four people. And we know that we need to take steps now to try and prevent that disease taking a hold in our country. Happily, we have a very good and very safe vaccine against the new types of meningococcal disease. This vaccine can do two things. It can help protect your children from meningococcal disease, but it can also help clear the carriage. Many children harbour this bacterium in their throat and although they don't become sick, they're capable of transmitting it to other children. If we have a vaccine program for those children that are most likely to carry it, we may be able to help eliminate the this meningococcus from Australia. Because of this, a number of states have now introduced a vaccine program for late teenagers to try and protect them and rid our country of this bacterium. The vaccine program varies from state to state. In Victoria and Queensland, it's available for those children aged 15 to 19 years. In Western Australia, it's available through the school program for years 10 to 12, and in New South Wales through the school program for years 11 and 12. We know that in the past, when we have conducted campaigns to protect adolescents, late teenagers, we've had appalling coverage rates. These are not a group that put their hand up and say, I'm going to go to a general practitioner to get vaccinated. We need their parents to make sure that their children are protected parents may receive a consent form through a school program in one of the states. Parents sign the consent form so that the child is protected via the school. If a child is eligible for free vaccine but they are not through a school program, a general practitioner, a public clinic, a council clinic, what's ever available in your state will make sure that they get protected against this disease. In some states general practitioners will be involved. In the states that GPs are involved, there are two different vaccines being used. These are called Menvio and Menactra. Menvio is a reconstituted vaccine. Three of the groups of meningococcus are in the powder and one of the groups is in the liquid. You must combine the two before providing the vaccine to the adolescent. The other vaccine, Menactra, is a liquid formulation that does not need reconstituting but needs to be drawn up. Please make sure as a general practitioner that you're able to advise parents about the importance of the disease, the effectiveness of the vaccine and the safety of the vaccine and that you are using the brand that you have correctly to make sure that we both protect our teenagers but that also we start to make inroads into the carriage of this particularly nasty bacterium within Australia. Thank you.